Hey guys, it's Brian from KB Fishing, and this week I'm going to be doing a review on the Rapala DT Series crankbait. I've been fishing these crankbaits for a long time now, and they're great crankbaits overall. They retail for $7.99 a crankbait, which isn't too bad, especially these days with crankbaits getting so expensive. Another thing I like about these crankbaits is that they come in so many colors. You have your crawfish crankbait, your baby bass crankbaits. You have even bluegill patterns, um, you have shad patterns, so that's one good thing about these crankbaits. As you may know, the Rapala DT crankbaits have been on the market for quite a while now. But just last year, iCast 2015 Rapala released their new Live Series crankbaits. If you don't know what the Live Series is, it's just the same crankbait but different color patterns. These color patterns are more lifelike, as you can see. You have your pumpkin seed right there your baby bass right there, and your bluegill right there. I haven't seen this color patterns in any other crankbait in the market, so definitely when you're going to be fishing this crankbait, you're going to have a slight advantage. Another good thing about these crankbaits is that they come in many different diving models. You can get these crankbaits diving up to 4 feet all the way down to 20 feet. These all happen to be DT6s, meaning that they dive to 6 feet. So you can basically fish the Rapala DTs in almost any water column. As most Rapala baits, the DT series crankbaits are made out of balsa wood. If you don't know what that means, that means usually when you're reeling in a crankbait and it floats up to the surface, these crankbaits are going to float almost twice as fast up to the surface. This is not a bad thing and I've had no problems with this. One thing you should know if you purchase the live series DT crankbaits is that they're actually less durable. Not saying that the crankbait doesn't hold up, but actually the paint job chips way faster than a normal crankbait. So this live series crankbait, the paint will actually chip way faster than a crankbait like this one right here. This is also a DT, but this is the regular DT. And this paint job will actually last way longer. The stock tribal hooks that come with the Rapala DT crankbaits are not the best out there. I definitely suggest replacing them. But I've actually found between the DT4 and the DT10, their hooks are actually really dull, the hook points are dull, but in the DT16 and DT20 series, the hook's actually really sharp. I'm not sure why Rapala did that, but you're probably not going to need a replacement for their deep diving crankbaits. If you're wondering how the split rings in the DT crankbaits are, they're not bad. I've never had any problems with them, especially if the hook comes out the split ring, so you don't need to replace that. The overall durability of these crankbaits are not the best. If you get a bad cast and cast it at a rock wall or maybe the side of a dock, um, I've done that before and the crankbait has actually broken. But it only happened once, so durability is okay. The main reason because of that is because these crankbaits are not made out of plastic. Like I said earlier, these are made out of balsa wood. I love using these crankbaits for targeting suspended smallmouth and even sometimes largemouth. Um, they'll get right in the middle of the column of the water and they'll run really good. I'm actually going to show you how they run the water, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching this week's video on the review of the Rapala DT Series Crankbait. We upload every Sunday, so be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. And if you have any questions about this crankbait, please just let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up.